Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? What's the apps, folks? This is Professor App here with a let's play of Grim Fandango Remastered. Yeah, I uh, wasn't expecting to just dive right into the game like this. I thought it was going to be like, you know, an opening like cutscene or something to say that there was going to be, you know, like an opening menu to say that before, you know, I was going to start the game. But no, I'm just going to dive right in by the looks of things. But yeah, like I said, I was going to say, this is, a, this is a game I've wanted to play for a long time. I've really wanted to start getting into like the more point and click adventure game genre. You know, as, as of late, I really do like uh, doing puzzle games, and I also like uh, games with stories, so I think this sort of game is uh, right up my street. I started uh, doing this with, like, uh, I think the first game of this I played was, like, uh, Thimbleweed Park, which I, which I played through on my channel, which I thought was, honestly, I thought was quite hard. I thought it was a really hard game, to be honest. I don't know if that's because I just wasn't very good at the puzzles, or just found them hard, or just wasn't particularly used to, like, you know, how these point-and-click adventure games work. But uh, I think I started to get the hang of it like near the near the end of the game. And I thought, uh, okay, I thought I think I start I kind of understand what I need to do in order to solve the puzzles now. I want to try a few more puzzle games like this, and I thought, now I started to do a bit of research, and I think I found this is meant to be like one of the uh, best in the in the entire genre. It's also made by I think some of the few people the people who made it uh, who made uh, Thimbleweed Park. I don't know if it's the exact same people, but it's definitely made by Lucas Arts, who made like those sorts of point of the adventure games back in the day. Like I say, I wasn't expecting to just jump in right away, but uh, 
just to carry on and see what happens what, what if we get started on this game. Look, as soon as I just save. Okay, so I can just save now. Okay, so I'll just save here. Okay. Okay, so I can move around. I think it's Manny Calabara, I think his name is. How do I, uh, how do I interact with these things? Oh, it's X, I guess. So what have we got here, then? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Okay, not sure, we're not entirely sure what that means. What have we got here? Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Oh, the walking stick they gave to that guy, yeah. Oh god, I can look at my eye in my inventory. Oh, what's this? Oh, hang on. Oh, it's Y, I see. It's some sort of special work order. Some sort of special work order, okay. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. So it's scythe, okay. Then what's we'll do with this, um, Okay. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. Read them already. Didn't help. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Got some, okay, it's got a pack of playing cards by the looks of things. Let's just quickly check those. It's a special order pack of cards. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. <laughs> okay, because he's not got any, any uh, skin on his bones. Read them already. Didn't help. Anything else around here that I can examine? It doesn't look like it. I got the door? Yeah, I thought so. Well, that was weird. So you just sort of said, please wait there. That was sort of strange. Domino probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Okay. Gotta say, the graphics are a bit uh, interesting, aren't they? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Okay. Now, what does she have to say? Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Alright, what poisoning? Any messages for me? Busy as ever, I see. Well, I'll go, I'll go hit the bricks. Uh, let's ask uh, any messages for me. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Uh, let's see, you got what poisoning? In my heart, though, you're still my secretary, yeah, so... In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Um, right, uh, let's say what poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you! Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud, he'll know. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll go with this one. No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calabara that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Sounds lovely. Um, right, let's see. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. 
Alright, anything else on here? Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Oh, I've got a hole punch. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Not sure why I want to use a hole punch, but oh well. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? I select this and put the hole punch. Use on the hole punch. Memos are for reading and throwing away, and not much else. Oh, Manny. Just take the sentences one word at a time. You'll get it. Memos are for reading and throwing away, and not much else. Guess we can just uh, head out, I guess. Don't see any other reason to. Don't see any other reason to do anything else here. Oh, whoa, well, whoa, well, that was weird. Where we're going? Um, this way, I guess. This way. I suppose it. I suppose it's this way. Very strange design. Um, this way, I guess. Maybe. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. Go through this. Go through this door. Well, I can. Guess I'll uh, go get a driver or something. No parking. Client car pickup only. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. All right. Can't operate cars, I guess. Maybe we're supposed to get a driver. I think that's what they said. I'm just, I'm still learning, the, I'm still learning to see what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, let's just go check the inventory again. What's the memo say? It's some sort of special work order. Okay. Let's just see what, uh, what space has to say again. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? I just want to know where my driver is. No, I just want to know where my driver is. Do you want me to have him paged? Yes. Yes. Then get Don to stop being such a cheapskate and install a paging system. You're just going to have to troll the carpool until you find a demon with a driver's license. Okay, so I need to find someone who has a driver's license. Why do I have to use a demon for a driver? Why do I have to use a demon for a driver? Only demons can operate the cars. If the company let you guys drive, you'd all be AWOL in 10 minutes. Got me there. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Okay, I guess well, uh, I need to find, I some, go I guess find someone who can uh, drive me, I guess. Maybe there's someone else. Maybe there is someone outside. I don't, I don't know, I'm just guessing here. Whoa, that was weird. Strange performance issue there. What's this? Can't examine that, uh, that fountain or anything. Right, is there anyone, anyone else out here, maybe? Whoa, it was a in carnival or something. Wasn't wasn't expecting that. Who's who's this person here? It was a clown or something. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. What are you practicing? Practicing what? Ringing your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? He's not a very friendly chap. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. A cat, a dingo, a dead worm, or Robert Frost. Uh, let's go, cat. Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. Okay. 
Ta-da! So we got our cat balloon bullets, things. If I talk to so again... So my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? Uh, put it away, maybe. My kid wants another balloon animal. Can I walk through your tent? I want some parade, some festival, eh? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Okay, uh... Well, I'll need these balloon animals for something, and probably will. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? So I'll walk, uh, walk somewhere else then. Let's say these backgrounds, these, uh, these backgrounds, this art style is very, uh, very, uh, what's the word? You know, stylized or dated perhaps? I, mean, I know it's like a 90s, like, uh, 90s uh, point and click adventure game, but it does a uh, it's a very similar art style, I guess. Now, what's this? Hello? Hello? Okay, that doesn't uh, do anything. So, what he says about the balloon animal. It's a squeaky little kitty. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, where else can it go? Try this way. I can't drive the car myself because I don't have a driver's license and I'm not allowed to drive it. So I need to find someone else who can. Find a demon who can. That's what, uh, what she said. Petrified forest. Ruber Carver, one... Ruber Carver, one hundred thousand and twenty. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Okay. What else does this guy have to say? Um, can you teach me how to do that, perhaps? Can you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step, which is blow, bang, ha, <laughs> popped another one. Lousy bony fingers. Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? He's not very friendly, this guy. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Another cat, a dingo, a dead worm, or Robert Frost. Uh, let's try Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! Okay, so that's Robert Frost now. Yeah. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. Yeah. Let's try another Can balloon animal. Who wants another balloon animal? Ah, uh, jeez, what now? Let's try a um, dingo. A dingo? That's my specialty. Is it really a specialty? Not bad. Ta-da! So I've got uh, three balloon animals now. It's just a regular old balloon dog. I don't see what's so dingo about it. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I guess a dead worm's just probably going to be a straight line. Ah, jeez, what now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. Balloon, yeah. There's no limit on those. Let's have an examine of the dead worm. It's a deflated balloon. Yeah, I got my side. That soul has already been reaped. Yeah, I guess don't need my side there. Now, can I examine anything else around here? What's uh, what's in this store? I'm going to side away for now. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Oh, got some bread. Okay. The bread of the dead. Anything else I can examine here? 
Right, what else can I do? Right, the car. What does it, what does it say about the car? I can't drive because I don't have a driver's license. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Yeah, I thought so. And what else is around here? Can I go I don't know, can I go right? I can go right here about things. Now what have we got here? Anything on the table? Uh, what does this say? Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Okay, wasn't very helpful. Anything in here? It's locked. Of course it's locked. Can't examine anything on the table. Good afternoon. No, there's nothing on the table. Right, let's uh, let's go back up the lift. Now I've got the hole punch. Can I use the hole punch for anything? Um, so look. Got those balloon animals and the bread. The bread of the dead. I've got a um, scythe and uh, some cards. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. A little frayed around the edges. Maybe I need to use the cards for something. Can I use the cards in the hole punch, perhaps? Oh, I can. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Now, what have I got this card for? All right. So I punch the cards. Now, what have I got here? This car's full of holes. Yeah, what? Why? Why though? Why did you punch it with holes? I don't understand why I need to punch it with holes. Punch the bread with holes. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Okay. Thanks. What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. I'm sure, it's not the balloons. Well, that's what's making that terrible noise. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, busy. It's try busy as ever. I see. Busy as ever. I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Uh, let's see. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting family today? Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Okay, that wasn't so particularly useful. Just one more question about my job. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's try, let's try, uh, what if we just skip town tonight? What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for best travel packages? Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. <laughs> So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Fair enough. Okay. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Anything else I can do? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. That's door to my office. There's nothing down here. Keeps doing that. Just because it's saving, perhaps. Anything in here? Can I put something in here? Perhaps? The message tube is full of nothing, as usual. Maybe the bread? 
I put the bread in for some reason. Not sure why I want to put bread in. <laughs> Look out below. Huh, what did that do? That's strange. Not sure why I want to put bread in there, but oh well, seems to have done something. Again, I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing this, but uh, seems to have worked for some somehow. Right, uh, where to now? Can I go in here? Oh, not, can I go in here? Oh, I can. Not been here yet. No. Oh. Who's that driving off? Not sure who that was. Uh, what do we have here then? Land of the Living. That's what that signs. The driver demons operate this somehow. And the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Right, okay. That's a long way to walk along in this car park. Okay, what now? Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Uh, right, what can I do around here? Now, I know that when I put the bread in, some, it said something down here. I'm guessing something down here happened. What's this? Can I actually do anything here? What have we got here? Can't uh, do anything there by the looks of things. Um, anything in the drawers, perhaps? I'm guessing there's something in that shed. Well, I'm just going to check in the drawers first. Locked. Of course it's locked. Hey, who the, who's messing with my stuff? Oh god, what on earth is that? Oh, sorry sir. I didn't expect... Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you you a driver maybe? Maybe you're a driver you have a driver's license. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! <laughs> no. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. It's a shame. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? That's not good. Yeah, I need a new driver. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver, maybe? You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Please, come, come on. on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big, you're just right. You're not too big, you just have a self-image problem. You're not too big, the cars are just too small. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. Try one of these. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> Really? Uh, let's try this one. They all look too big. The car's just too small. Not too big? The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'm, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Yeah, that's it. Okay, what's this then? Okay. I've got to get this work order signed. So I'm going to get it signed. Okay. So I need to get it signed somehow. I guess I just need to head back up.
Very strange how the camera angles just change like that. Gotta go and walk all the way back here. If I give it to what's her face, will she will she get his help to get it signed perhaps? Uh let's have a look. Cards, balloon, 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 punch card, work order, okay. Let's see if I give it to her, see what she says. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Um, that's annoying. Okay, I'll just, I'll just sit try this. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Well, that's annoying. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. So how am I gonna get it signed then? Domino's door is locked. Can't, uh, can't go in there. Okay, uh, can I try putting the thing in? The work order in? Go through all of these balloons. Here we are. That won't help it get signed. Okay. That won't help it get signed. Locked. Hey, Manny! Did you get that work order signed yet? No. Can't we just do it without? I told you I could lose my job! Manny! If I lose my job! Hey, 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 don't worry. Just go on back to work. I'll get that work order signed somehow. How though? Can't go to the land of living, I bet. Oh, it's letting me go. Actually, let me go. Am I going through? Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. Okay, mind. Right, but there's what's down here then. I don't know what's down here. There's got to be some reason why this is alley here. Why is that one blue? Hello? It's huge. I can't open it. Hmm. How will I get it signed though? I can't. It won't. Uh, won't sign it. That's the issue. How will it get signed if he's not gonna? He doesn't want to be interrupted. So this is the problem I have with Thimbleweed Park, where I sometimes feel like I'm at a loss to what to do. What's this? Oh, oh, wait, this is new. This is rope. Oh, he's climbing up the rope. Huh. Just tried to run, just happened to walk down there and then he just gave me what came to me here, so I guess he needs to climb up the rope or something. Pretty high up, it's quite precarious. Those dead birds there, God, they look pretty scary. Okay, this is this the boss's office. This must be the boss's office. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Yeah, this is the boss's office, isn't it? If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. Okay, I can't go through there. But I need to uh, find some way to get it signed. What can I do? It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Okay. Not now either, so I'll have to wait. I'm in the middle of a very important meeting. Didn't say, oh, didn't I say no interruptions? So whatever it is, we'll have to wait. Crime Seaver, just sign it yourself. Oh, crap, you just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Yeah, that one. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, Crime Seaver, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Okay, so I'll get you to sign it. That'll work. 
guess I'll just uh, go back out. Climb down this very quick, this very, uh, very uh, long, not entirely safe rope. Just to randomly walk all the way down here, and then I was able to walk up this rope. So I guess that was now. I guess that Eva can sign it. So I guess now I'll uh, head up there and get it signed. And up we go, and I'll speak to Eva. She'll sign it for me. And then I'll go and see uh, Gormis. Is that? I think that's the name, Gormis. Uh, right. Where is it? Where is it? Here we are. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Are. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Okay, there we are. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. He's not there, I'm afraid. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Oh, looks very happy with himself. He's actually trying to fit into that car. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> so he has to stick his hands through the windows in order to drive it. Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Oh, what? That is quite scary. It's the land of the living or something. Is that what it's meant to be? He's missed out, hasn't he? Domino. Oh, it's Domino. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. So this is the land of the living. Oh god, this is quite a creepy looking looking place. But I guess, uh, right, I think this is probably a good place for me to stop now. I've done that uh, one puzzle now. That's quite weird, that body bag on the floor, by the way. Yeah, so I can just uh, save that, I should be fine. Yeah, well, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm looking, uh, this, this looks interesting. I'm th I think this is going to be quite interesting, like a uh, uh, fun game to play. And that last one I'll be a little bit stumped, but I think the only, the only reason I got a bit stuck on it was because it, it took me a while to find out I could actually, you know, go down there and climb that all the way to the end of the alley and climb up that rope. Once I found that out, it was uh, fairly easy for me to uh, fairly easy to work out what I needed to do. Hopefully, I hope that's probably going to be what it's like for the rest of this uh, game. I think so, but uh, hopefully it's not, and hopefully I'll be able to answer, the, the, you know, solve all the puzzles a lot easier. But anyway, if you like this, uh, if you like this video, then please, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, it really does help me out to get my channel known. And if you want to see more content like this and more Let's Plays from Grim Fandango Remastered, or if you have any suggestions for what other video games I should play in the future, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, folks. Bye.